It's ugly, invasive and illegal. Graffiti on the Sunshine Coast has been a problem for several years now. It's rife on skate parks, toilet blocks and on public property. Both parties have signed a four-year commitment which will see the management and removal of graffiti from public property and Energex infrastructure. Our program at the moment is proving itself successful in a number of fashions. One, it's removing graffiti. Secondly, it's reducing costs because the incidence and the need to remove graffiti are starting to drop off. Designated graffiti walls, like the one behind me, give youth the opportunity to express themselves artistically without the need to vandalise public property. Artist David Hewton says young people should get involved in legal graffiti projects. It's more of an avenue for people to do their stuff in a legit way rather than getting caught and dealing with all the hassles. Council says they're in favour of supervised graffiti as it will mitigate against illegal vandalism. This is an ongoing process. Um, it's not just a short hit. In the meantime, Council has a huge clean-up ahead of them. Jarrah Lowe, University News.